Hello, everybody. If we've not met, my name is Devin Mobley, and I'm currently the president of Techlahoma Foundation. Uh, welcome to our end of year town hall. I just wanted to pop in and say hi, and um, give a couple of notes about um, how the organization is doing from my perspective and the work I've been doing with uh, Emily. As an organization, we try to be really transparent and open to our community members, so I hope that um, as you hear more about the details and the practical sort of numbers focused things that we've been able to do this year, that you'll also um, be able to hear a couple of the things that have really made us successful and that will continue to make us successful as an organization and as a community uh, moving into the next year. So as you know, Techlahoma has grown and with that, so is our needs and expectations of the community. Um, that's what makes Emily's role the role of user group leaders and the role of volunteers, whether um, helping out with a conference or whether you are really active in Slack or whatever, it makes those roles extremely important. We are always in need of folks who, will, uh, who are willing to step up. Uh, so um, whether that's, like I said, volunteering at a conference or at a user group, whether that's helping out individuals on Slack and just being a good community member, um, or whether there's a way in which you want to support a user group or a particular project um, that's always needed. One way that you can practically do that is through um, task-based volunteerism, which is ran by Emily. Um, reach out to her on Slack or go to the Techlahoma volunteers or the uh, Give Back channels, and there will be things that you can take on to just help out the community. We are still, uh, as an organization, and really, um, from a lot of people's perspectives in a weird pandemic hangover. Um, Techlahoma though is recovering well. I think we've had a successful 2022 uh, and I think that uh, we've seen that through the activity on Slack, through the success of our conferences and through many partnerships and programs that we've tried to get off the ground this year um, and which I'll, I'll comment here in a second. Um, one important note uh, is that as an organization we think it's important to have a low barrier to entry um, I think that over the pandemic, what made uh, our community space so great is that it felt like a remote work environment. Again, something that I'll comment in a second, but um, people could come on and they could get, get help on what they were looking for. And, and a lot of the people that, that joined our community were people who were just looking into tech, uh, whether that's to transition or looking for their first job or even just now starting out. It became what we've always been, which is a community of people to feel like they belong. So it's very important that we always remember that the number one uh, core tenet of Techlahoma is this openness uh, for anyone to be able to join our community, for all of our entry points, whether it's Slack or user group or whatever, to be low barrier to entry, and for all of us to remember that there's no way in which uh, what we do as a craft or what we are as a community has any sort of gates that are keeping people out of it. So always remember that, always remember to leave the gate open to make sure people realize that the gate is wide open for them to enter into Techlahoma. And, um, and especially whenever people are asking questions and they already feel like they're um, saying something stupid and they already have imposter syndrome or they're already self-conscious, like we just need to remember that it's always important to have a tone of openness and, and encouragement for people in our community. That is really set by the tone of, you, of leaders in our community who are there helping out um, code newbies and, and people who are looking for jobs and et cetera day to day. Um, we have an incredible amount of support and I think that that's gonna be increasingly important moving, moving forward into 2023. Um, it's a core to who we are as Techlahoma, so it will always be our most important facet. The other thing is that with Slack is that Slack has continued to feel like a real remote work style environment. Um, what really makes remote work um, and therefore our Slack channel so powerful is that you have individual relationships being built, individual networks being built. So always continue to remember that what makes that feel more alive and more vivid is things that add on to just the actual chat support. So booking coffee chats with people, reaching out in DMs, going to our pair programming channel and joining uh, mobs where, that are, you know, people, whether they're on huddles or whether they set up a Google Meet or whatever. Um, we have pair programming tools. We have, uh, you know, anyone can hop on Google Meet, anyone can hop on to a huddle, um, use all the tools that Slack provides and reach out, raise flags, 
ask questions, and just continue to connect with people in interesting ways uh, to continue to grow your own network um, so that you get the most out of our community. Additionally, uh, on the flip side, this community means the most to you whenever you have a sense of ownership. So this goes back to volunteerism. This goes back to um, making sure that, that what you want to see Teklahoma do, that you are willing to step in and help make that happen. Everything that gets done that's of value in Teklahoma is done by the community itself. It's not done by the board necessarily. I think we're here as the board to ensure the sustainability of the organization and the big picture, the big ticket items. So think conferences and your, our, our major events. But outside of that, it's up to our community members to make that happen. We can resource you and we can do everything. And Emily's role is to really empower that. So um, lean on her, lean on user group leaders or whoever it is and other community members to just do what it is that you want to see done in our community. And the other thing that I'll say just as a, as a note is that uh, we all, all always are in need of financial support. So we run a very lean organization, but um, our main basis of resourcing is business sponsors and recurring membership donations. So if you are a part of a business or you know someone at a business who would be interested in partnering with us, uh, or you have the means to be able to do a recurring monthly donation, that lays a, a strong foundation for us to be able to do and empower those things that other people are wanting to do. So when I was talking about ownership, the people who are wanting to get things done, we can empower those people, we can support our user groups, we can do all those things. So uh, I think we've had a fantastic 2022. Um, we've really gone through some major challenges in the past two years. Uh, and it's been an honor to work with people like Emily, with our current board, with uh, leaders in the organization who are, um, who are teaching people how to code, who are helping people get jobs, who are creating businesses that are giving those jobs out, uh, not giving them out, but you know what I mean, that are creating jobs for other people to, to have. So um, it's really exciting to see, and I don't anticipate a lack of momentum or a slowdown in 2023. So... Um, keep up the great work, keep up the encouragement, the openness, and the diversity, uh, and continue to, uh, you know, swing that gate wide open for others to join and come see what Techlahome is all about. Thanks, everyone, for a fantastic and successful 2022, and uh, we will see you in the new year. Thank you.